Hey there guys, it's me again. Ever since ever since I made talked about multiverses getting a comic book series and and a lot of our favorite cartoon characters going to be appearing in Jellystone, which is the new HBO Max series, that has me curious. Does that mean the future of Cartoon Network is going to be alright? Well, I know it's still struggling a bit, you know, based on some of the shows getting removed from HBO Max, and Warner Brothers is still dealing, dealing with that awful CEO in general. But to me, honestly, I think it's starting to be, I think the future of Cartoon Network is somewhat okay. Because based on what we knew, it is cool to see some of our favorite Cartoon Network characters appear in Multiverses and Jellystone. Which, to be fair, even though I stopped using cable back in, back in 2017 or 2018, it's actually pretty cool to see our Cartoon Network characters make a comeback again. Okay, well, technically, we did see them appear in an episode of Teen Titans Go! where they celebrated the 100th anniversary of Warner Brothers along with some of our some of our other along with some of our fa other favorite characters like Hanna-Barbera, Looney Tunes, Tom and Jerry and DC for example. But I'm guessing this meant to be its own separate thing. But yeah, it looks like the future of Cartoon Network is somewhat going to be okay. Not completely okay. But still, but still seems like it's going to be alright. And that's fine by me. Because I did grow up watching some of the classic shows. Like Secret Saturdays, Ed, Ed and Eddie, Codename Kids Next Door, Courage the Cowardly Dog, Samurai Jack, Johnny Bravo, Regular Show, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, Dexter's Laboratory, and a few other shows that I may have remembered, but not much. And it's great that um, DC Comics and Jellystone, Jellystone are at least acknowledging, starting to acknowledge Cartoon Network. And like I said before, I know, and it's like I said, I know that they have a lot of our favorite Cartoon Network characters along with some of our favorite Hanna-Barbera, Looney Tunes, and DC characters, appeared in Teen Titans Go! where they celebrated the 100th anniversary of Warner Brothers, but still meant to be his own separate thing. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to be continuing on, or something. I mean, it probably looks like that to me. Considering how we, considering how we saw Scooby Doo and the gang finally meeting Courage the Cowardly Dog, which is a classic Cartoon Network show, and I probably, you pr I'm not sure if you could tell, but you can see the Cartoon Network logo on the back of the DVD. You probably can't tell because it's so far away, but you might want to take my word for it. And I'm still wondering how. I still hope this proves that Cartoon Network will slowly get back to normal. Because we 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 were aware we grew up watching a lot of our favorite shows for for years, especially only a few of them on VHS and DVD. Kind of like what I have here in my collection. Samurai Jack on the movie on VHS, a few Powerpuff Girls episode compilations, Cartoon Network Hall of Fame Volume One, wait, yeah, it's Volume One, and the complete first season of Courage the Cowardly Dog. Now, I'm, I'm, st 
And now, even though that multiverses reveal that Garden and Steven Universe will be in, in the multiverse comic book series, it makes me wonder if other Cartoon Network characters will appear in multiverses. And speaking of Steven Universe, since he is a Cartoon Network character, it would be pretty funny, funny to see him enter Jellystone and probably get his reaction to most of the citizens being mostly talking animals. Like, just imagine how bewildered he would feel if he found out that Yogi Bear, Jabba Jaw, Touche Turtle, Great Babe, Top Cat, Huckleberry Hound, and a few others, a few other animals being, well, talking animals. In fact, that goes same double for the rest of our favorite Cartoon Network characters. But anyways, it still feels like the feels like the safety of Cartoon Network is going to be all right, and, it, and it's a good thing too, because because I think Cartoon Network did start out airing classic Hanna Barbera cartoons before. Like Secret Squirrel, Hong Kong Fooey, Wacky Racist, and Yogi Bear, right? Hey, hey. So let me know down in the comments below if you think the future of Cartoon Network is going to be alright. I hope. I mean, I hope so. Because to be fair, Warren Brothers does own the rights to Cartoon Network. And I'm still hoping that it gets saved. Because I'm sure most of us grew up watching Hella Barbera and Cartoon Network. If you were born sometime around the late 80s, early 90s. For me, I was born on July 6, 2001. Which, by the way, my birthday is six days away. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. And let the future of Cartoon Network be alright.